Today we're diving into the latest update of Arco Linux, version 23.12. There's a ton of exciting stuff to cover, from new tools and utilities to updates in desktop environments and software changes. First up, let's talk about the desktop environments. In this release, two desktops, Cutefish and UKUI, faced a few issues. But don't worry, despite these hiccups, all the ISOs are set to be released. Plus, there's a new addition called DK, a tiling window manager that's scriptable and brings in cool features like dynamic workspaces and better support for mouse and floating windows. Oh, and on Openbox, they've swapped out the Super Plus D function with a Rofi menu, a handy change for quick access. Now, onto the software side of things. Pomac, the software manager, had to take a back seat due to AppStream problems. Instead, they've brought in Octopi and its notifier for most of the ISOs. So Firem, their tool for installing and removing software, now includes Octopi, making the process even smoother. Plus, there are updates to packages like Mikanich Bio firmware, resolving some warnings during the building process. Arco Linux introduces a cool new utility called HiFetch, which is kind of like NeoFetch or ScreenFetch. They've added it to their Excel ISO and the Arch Linux tweak tool for easy access. And get this, HiFetch has been integrated into different shell configurations like Bash, Zeesh, and Fish. They even explain how it works for those who want to build their own distro. Behind the scenes, they've been using the latest Calamaries code, removing the dependency on AppStream in the PKG build. Also, they've made sure to maintain a dark theme in Pomac. Additionally, there have been some renaming shuffles in Plasma packages, so folks building from AUR need to keep an eye out for those changes. It's exciting to see all these updates geared towards making the user experience smoother and more efficient. From new window managers to software tweaks and handy utilities, this update is packed with goodies. If you're an Arco Linux user, these changes are definitely worth checking out. As always, if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech updates and software reviews. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.